that are food producers definitely don't want this audio down on their knees, even doing the microbiology stuff, because they got a, you know, a crappy, full of, you know, doesn't get employees or so. Yeah. You know, lots See, of she's all the way down still screaming. Inventory moving through the factory. They don't want you without any warning for so shutting the whole place down because they will look, my test has salmonella in it. So they, you know, they, so they can, can you know, they, in lots of cases, they can kind of control what you do and what you don't do. So now, one of the things that, uh, excuse me, I just wanted to get a caller in on the conversation again. All right, go ahead. Number is 800 8255 and uh, Gary's on the line. Gary calling us from Berkeley. Hi, I want to thank you for this. Hello, hello. So see, now she's not even going up. I wanted to be certified, and I, I think your callers, your, your guest point is well taken. I try to be certified just for organic certification after going back and forth with certified on the phone. He said, look, just send me a check for $4,000, and we'll send you certification without even coming to inspect the farm. I think we as, as citizens, as consumers, have a responsibility to develop relationships with local purveyors of produce with our local green grocers and let them have the responsibility to develop relationships with farmers. We've got a great example of that here in Berkeley in the Monterey market where organic certification is a test organically grown and that means it's certified by the owners of the market who our local community trusts very highly to develop these relationships. Would you rather, Gary, that uh, as opposed to these uh, well, industry standards you're talking about, I guess, uh, for, for... Okay, we'll for turn her off and turn her on. ...government inspector who says, uh, here you go, you meet all the... Now she's going to start. She's going straight back down as she's screaming. Okay. 